Dear aspirant, welcome to Current Affairs for UPSC by Zaki. Today we are going to discuss on IRNSS and Worldwide Radio Navigation System. Basically, recently Worldwide Radio Navigation System recognized IRNSS as it work in Indian Ocean region. So let's why this topic in news and why this topic is very very important for the civil services exam manager. So let's Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System IRNS has been accepted as a component of the worldwide radio navigation system. We can simply call it WWRNS for the operation in the Indian Ocean region by the International Maritime Organization. It is simply we call it IMO. So let's know what is IRNSS. The IRNSS with the operational name of NAVIC. Its operational name called is NAVIC. So, what is NAVIC? NAVIC is an acronym of navigation, NAVI means navigation with Indian, I for Indian, and constellation. Constellation means C. So, NAV I C means NAVIC. It is an Indian regional satellite navigation. It is regional. There are few type, uh, several kinds of uh, type like uh, uh, regional satellite and global satellite. So it is regional satellite that provide accurate real time positioning system and time. So let's know what is IRNSS. So basically IR NSS contain seven uh, constellations of the satellite. These satellite basically four satellite provide geosynchronous orbit. Basically, it is you see this this saffron type of satellite is it is four satellite and four satellite is geosynchronous orbit uh, orbit and uh, or they uh, uh, circulate or, or orbit and in the orbiter like eight in eight in English this time. For the three satellite is situated in geostationary orbit and they fix position as you see in the figure. This is fixed fixed position. These three satellite. This is it like and each of the satellite uh, contain a, a star sensor, a propellant tank, solar panel, and liquid apogee motor. So uh, this satellite is basically for the navigation system of basically it is. Uh, developed by Indian so uh, Indian navigation system so it is Indian navigation system like you simply know the US GPS system so let's know all the it cover Indian region as you see in the figure it's on only cover Indian region extended equal to 1500 kilometer around and Plants its further extension. In future, uh, India can plan its further extension. This system currently consists of a constellations of seven satellites, as you see in the figure. These seven satellites and two additional satellites on the ground as a standby. Further, the constellation, <coughs> constellation is in orbit as of 2018. So, is it in orbit and circulate uh, uh, the earth 
since 2018 and the system was operational from early 2018 so it is presently in the work so uh, no what is, what are the significance of this recognition by the international maritime organization imo and what is i n o so it will be provide the levels of services basically it have two category of services first category it's a standard positioning system which will be open for the civilian use and the second is restricted services restricted services means an encrypted encrypted services and it is authorized user basically it is not uh, uh, allowed for the uh, common people but it is authorized including like military services and other services as you know if you uh, see the google earth and it is you can zoom your home or it is you can see the blur picture not the clear picture and uh, some extent but some of the satellite uh, which is used by us military or indian military it is uh, see the exactly precise real time figure of the any part of the world or uh, like us so if a car or a truck or a people going on the road you can see the exactly even the number plate of the car so but this satellite is not available for the common people this uh, system or this services is available only for the military and other strategic use so let's uh, benefits of the moon why uh, it is basically it will assist the navigation of the ship in the indian ocean and it's enable the merchant vessels use irnss basically information like the, as uh, i earlier uh, told you it is gps system or glonos at the Euro european system so navigation ship at indian ocean basically area covered at 50 degree north latitude to 55 east and further 5 degree south to 110 degree east longitude approximately as you know 1500 km so back to the question what is international maritime organization so know the basic things about the international maritime organization basically imo is a un specialized agency with responsibility for the safety and security it is safety and security of shipping and the prevention of marine pollution safety security and also they watch the marine pollution by the ships okay its primary purpose what is primary purpose primary purpose is to develop and maintain a comprehensive regulatory framework for the shipping and its remit today include the safety environmental concern legal matters technical cooperation and maritime security and efficiency of the city these are the primary functions of the imo okay so let's go imo is governed by an assembly member and it is financially administered by the council of members elected from the assembly so it is about the i m so that's the whole uh, summarize of the uh, topic that is i r n s s and i m so uh, let's see uh, uh, it is a upsc point of view and what are the uh, what type of the questions are Uh, can be asked by the civil services uh, exam in civil services examiner so let's the question for the upsc so question for the upsc number 
कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट रिगार्डिंग आई आर एन एस एस कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट रिगार्डिंग आई आर एन एस एस नंबर वन द आई आर एन एस एस ऑपरेशनल नेम इज नेविक नंबर टू आई आर एन एस एस नेविगेशन सिस्टम प्रोवाइड एक्यूरेट रियल टाइम पोजिशनिंग एंड टाइमिंग सर्विसेस नंबर थ्री द सिस्टम करेंटली कंसिस्ट ऑफ द कॉस्टलाइजेशन ऑफ फाइव सेटेलाइट विच ऑफ द एब स्टेटमेंट स्टेटमेंट इज आर करेक्ट ए ओनली वन बी वन एंड थ्री सी वन एंड टू डी ऑल ऑफ द एब प्लीज राइट द करेक्ट एंसर इन आवर कॉमेंट बॉक्स एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इन माई चैनल एंड लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड होप वी विल मीट इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर एंड ऑल्सो वी प्रोवाइड द एंसर ऑफ द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियो सो सी द एंसर ऑफ द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन बेसिकली इट इज द सिक्स जी कम्युनिकेशन रिगार्डिंग द सिक्स जी कम्युनिकेशन सो it is uh, uh, the answer of this question is b1 and 3 b b1 and 3 why 6g will be the more related to the artificial intelligence communication yeah it is right 6g will be only used by machine no it is machines and human also people also uh, use so it is not only by machine machines and people both so this statement is wrong third the research for the 6g was recently launched by the international telecommunication union it yes it is right so the answer is 1 and 3 is right so answer is b thanks for watching please like this video and share your friend who are preparing for the upsc examination basically our video lecture especially focused on the 2021 uh, upsc ptis pt a preliminary examination and we cover uh, we can uh, we will be cover approx 40 topics on various topics uh, science tech environment ecology and geography so stay with us and uh, like subscribe our channel and hope we will meet next video with a new topic current topic related for the upsc thanks for watching this video